Warm and humid out there once again today for any Friday night plans. Yeah, but it might be still a good day to head out to the raceway, and that's where we find Chief Meteorologist George Lessons at Berlin Raceway. George, tell us about the weather out there. Yeah, it's kind of noisy here at Raceway. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but they're doing some practice runs here at the track tonight. They've got a very big two-day event coming through the area, and the weather's going to be on the warm side. Right now, I think it's going to be on the dry side. Let's take a look at the 13 weather ball. It is red. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And looking at temperatures right now in the 80s with partly cloudy skies. And we are looking at along the lake shore a little bit less in the way of some sunshine. And as we step inside away from some of the noise, you can see readings are in the low 80s. Probably can hear me a lot better now. But it is that kind of environment here at the track tonight. It's a very humid night as well with dew points in the 60s. Anytime it's above 60, it is kind of warm. So bring your sunscreen, maybe your little, uh, little umbrella just to keep the sun off of you. A few fair weather cumulus clouds, but right now no storms popping up like there were last night. But we are tracking an area of storms that look very uh, innocuous up there in northwestern North Dakota. But those are the storms that we'll be tracking for late Saturday night, early on a Sunday morning. Uh, through tomorrow morning, uh, there could be a pop-up evening shower, but the, for the most part, it will stay dry. It's uh, late tomorrow night through Sunday morning that we have a, a marginal risk, one out of five for some storms as they track out of the northwest down into lower Michigan. So all day Saturday will be fine. It will be towards daybreak on Sunday and Sunday morning that we may see those showers and storms. But here's how we're tracking those. This is 8 o'clock tonight. See how they just popped up there in North Dakota? Uh, they push to the south and east by daybreak. Uh, they've kind of dissipated, but the energy from those will refire and move into southwestern lower Michigan after about 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. And then those will be sticking around through Sunday morning. But you see, they're already to the east by Sunday morning. The sun comes out in the afternoon, and so uh, we have a nice afternoon on Sunday. When are we going to get a break from this humidity? That will start next Wednesday, but in the meantime, dew points will climb into the low 70s both Sunday and Monday. Farther ahead, temperatures will average a little bit below our average high of 83. That's the 18th through the 22nd. And for precipitation, a little bit higher chance we'll see less rainfall. So a little cooler, a little drier uh, for the 18th through the 22nd. Tonight, skies will be mainly clear, low and mid 60s at the lakeshore, very light wind. North, you're looking at sunshine or clear skies uh, later on tonight after the clouds dissipate, low 60s. And here in the Greater Grand Rapids area, looking at temperatures down into the mid 60s for overnight lows. 13 on your side forecast. Very warm and humid weekend, upper 80s both Saturday and Sunday, topping out at 89 on Monday. We'll start to cool off as the clouds clear and some of that haze moves on out on Tuesday. Uh, next week, there could be some wildfire smoke on Wednesday and Thursday, but dry all five of those days into the following weekend, upper 70s and low 80s. So again, yes, yeah, so a very exciting night here at Berlin Raceway. We're in the sweet level right now, so the noise level is a little more <laughs> tolerable, but uh, come on down. I'm going to be dropping the flag here right around 6.30 tonight. All right, thank you, George. Hopefully your ears are going to be okay <laughs> after all of that. Seems like a fun night out there. We're live here at Berlin Raceway. It is a very pleasant evening for racing. It's a little humid out here, but all the way around, it's going to be a great night. Not only tonight, but tomorrow night. Of course, we're part of the farewell tour here uh, out at Berlin Raceway in Amar. Come on down. We're going to have a very cool evening. I am going to be dropping or starting the races a little after 6.30 tonight. Never done that before, so that should be a treat for everyone. What's ahead for your weekend? How about Saturday? 13 weather ball is red. We have warm and humid weather continued ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And if you're not at the raceway, we're going to walk the dog perhaps. This is Willie and we've got clear skies, a lot of haze in the air. We're going to give you a green paw for Doug and Sandy to head out in the evening. Low 80s this evening, dropping into the 70s, a muggy night. 
but sunshine all day long during the day tomorrow. Speaking of sunshine, our green energy report from the sun, 8.7 out of a 10 point scale to create that green energy. And again, winds are gonna be very light over the southeastern part of the state. They've got air quality alerts over there, but not here in West Michigan. Our winds will be out of the south. And those south winds not really affecting the waves. A lot of folks at the beaches there, including in Grand Haven, waves virtually flat. They should stay that way at least through tomorrow. And water temperatures mid and upper 60s, uh, nice and refreshing with air temperatures in the low 80s. Around the region, we've had a few fair weather cumulus clouds away from the lake shore. Nothing happening here in Kent County. All of the active weather is well to the north and east, and it should stay very quiet overnight tonight through about 2 o'clock in the morning on Saturday on Sunday, I should say, as high pressure is firmly in control. We didn't see any fog this morning. We'll not see any of that here overnight tonight. As far as the severe weather tonight, that's way up in the Dakotas. That's not going to affect us. But late Saturday night, early Sunday morning through 7 a.m., there is a marginal risk that some of those storms that are going to be forming could be making it into West Michigan. Let's break it down hour by hour. Clear skies overnight tonight. Lots of sunshine expected through the day tomorrow. And you can see those storms starting to come down from the northwest. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. Morning tomorrow by 8 o'clock in the evening we uh, will still be sunny and then we'll watch those storms down in Illinois and Wisconsin uh, start to push into West Michigan after about 2 a.m. Looks like they'll be out of the area by about 8 o'clock in the morning. There might be a residual shower late in the day on Sunday with another chance coming up on Monday night. High chances that we will see warmer than average temperatures return from the 20th through the 26th of the month. We'll still see an equal or higher chance for less precipitation. Forecast for tonight, clear sky a little haze in the air, kind of muggy. It'll be in the low and mid 60s with a light west wind off the lake. Northern zones, low and mid 60s. South winds will hold up this evening, then become calm. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, temperatures will fall back into the mid 60s under clear skies. 13 on your side forecast. So very late Saturday night into Sunday morning is when our first round of showers and storms will be. A very humid and hot day, upper 80s, 89 on Monday. Again, most of the storms overnight Monday night, and then the clouds depart on Tuesday, and then finally the humidity leaves on Wednesday. Very comfortable weather, but we may see some wildfire smoke next Wednesday and Thursday with that haze sticking around and temperatures just a little bit below average, but very, very comfortable. It's going to be on a great night out here at Berlin Raceway. I can't wait to drop the flag later on at 6. <laughs> 30. And we can't wait to see that, George. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, gosh, going to be a steamer of a weekend. I'm just looking forward to that humidity dropping eventually. <laughs> like it's been a warm and humid day for your Friday, but certainly not too warm to head out to the raceway or whatever other uh, Friday night plans you may have. Chief Meteorologist George Lessons is at Berlin Raceway with the 13 on your side forecast. George. Julie, it's a beautiful evening here. It was a little loud earlier, but it's a beautiful evening out at the track. And we are in one of the suites. This is the Rapid uh, River Beverage Company Suite. Everybody get a go, yay, yay. Well, they were gracious enough to allow us to be inside where it's a little less noisy, but it's going to be a great night. In a few minutes, I'm going to be out there and uh, tell the uh, drivers to start their engines. And I can't wait to do that. It's going to be a beautiful evening, beautiful weekend for the most part, but let's focus on tomorrow. 13 weather ball is red and that means we have warmer and continued humid weather ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. How'd we do today? Temperatures mid 80s, warm spot. Uh, Fremont, 86 degrees. We made 84 here in Grand Rapids. Finally, a day where we've been above average for our high. We came within one degree of our forecast. We did that uh, eight days in a row. Gonna get a woohoo for that. Ooh. All right, yes, I love it. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, what we're watching is an area of some storms way up there in North Dakota uh, that they're going to be moving down into lower Michigan later on uh, tomorrow night. This will be well after you're sleeping. So we've had a great day today. Day. We'll have a great day tomorrow. Once those storms pass on Sunday morning, we'll have a great Sunday to wrap things up. As far as the weather currently, no storms, unlike last night where we had those pop-up showers that produced some downpours. There still could be one between now and about 10 o'clock tonight. You can see a few of those around Grand Rapids to the east. I don't think there'll be anything like last night. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Sunny skies, sunny skies all day long. Just a few high clouds uh, overnight. And then after about 2 o'clock in the morning, models are trying to bring in some showers and stronger thunderstorms, but they appear to be moving out early on Sunday morning. And in the afternoon, I think we'll see some dying showers come on in. There'll be another round coming in on Monday night. So most of Sunday will also be okay. It is still going to be very warm, very humid, especially on Sunday and Monday when dew points get up 
up to around 70 plus, but can you tell when the relief comes? Cold front coming through early on Wednesday drops our dew points down to more comfortable levels, maybe going up a little bit after the following weekend. So yeah, we're finally going to get a break. Forecast for tomorrow, hazy sunshine throughout the day. Mid 80s, about where we were today, maybe up a degree or two. 88 there, the warm spot in Holland along the lakeshore. Up north, a light south wind throughout the day. Of readings approaching the upper 80s, between 88 and 89. Uh, here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we're looking at temperatures uh, topping out around 88 to 89 with plenty of hazy sunshine with a very light wind. 13 on your side forecast. Hazy, humid, in fact, very humid all the way through Tuesday, and then finally we'll see some of the relief from that. Uh, recapping the storms, it'll be very late Saturday night. After around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, they'll depart on Sunday morning for the most part, and then dry until Monday night. That's when that cold front starts to come on through. We'll start to sweep out some of the haze, but we may see some wildfire smoke in the wake of that cold front next Wednesday and Thursday, so the air quality may actually be not that great early next week. And then still some hazy sunshine with temperatures around or a little bit below average Friday through the following weekend. Have yourself a great weekend uh, out here at Berlin uh, later on this evening. I'm going to be uh, uh, telling uh, the drivers to start their engine. So uh, come on down not only tonight, but again tomorrow night as well.